Here are a few more questions some of our viewers have had recently about roof pitch ratios. So let's go ahead and get started with the first part of the video where we have a 4 and 12 roof pitch here. And that basically means for every one foot we go horizontally, we're going to go up 4 inches vertically. And of course, 40 inches is the same as 3 foot 4 inches and 10 feet is the same as 120 inches. And since this would provide us with 10 units for our ratio, let's go ahead and set up our framing square. And that would look something like this with a 4 inch measurement on one side of our framing square and a 12 inch measurement on the other side of the framing square. However, since it is a ratio, I can divide that number in half and get a 2 and 6 ratio. A 2 and 6 ratio is going to be the same as a 4 and 12 ratio along with a 1 and a 3. And to get the 1 and the 3, I just simply divided the ratio into 4 units within our 4 and 12 ratio. And of course, we can always go larger, bringing us to a 6 and 18 ratio. And to do that, we're not going to divide. We're going to multiply some numbers together. Again, you can multiply times 2, times 4, whatever you need, and fractions, decimals, to get something that is going to work for your project. And the reason why I think some of our viewers are having a difficult time with this is because you're not always going to come up with a single inch measurement. You might have an inch and a quarter, an inch and three eighths, depending upon which number you're starting with and what number you're trying to use. And hopefully that makes sense. Next up, let's take a look at a roof that you will be calculating your own roof pitch ratios for. You're not going to be using a 4 and 12 or a 6 and 12. So here we have a 2 foot 6 or 30 inch ridge height along with a 9 foot 6 or 114 inch half span. And to calculate the ratio, all we need to do is pick a number. I'm going to pick the number 5 and divide it into 30. And that's going to provide me with 5 6 inch increments. Then I'm going to do the same on the bottom. And that's going to provide me with 5 22.8 inch increments. Or I can choose to divide it by 6 which would give me six five inch increments. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom for the horizontal measurement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a five and 19 ratio for this roof here instead of using a five and 12 or a six and 12 ratio. And this might be a lot easier for you to use to lay out a roof rafter. Again, I'm trying to make your job as easy as it possibly can. And this method right here might be that. And to set the framing square up, all we need to do is set the framing square up at 5 on one side and 19 on the other side. And let's go ahead and zoom in here. So we have 19 lining up with the edge here, and then we will have five lining up with the other side, providing us with our five and 19 ratio for this particular roof. And like I said, you can use other numbers. We've used five and six, now let's go to seven. And if I divide 114 by seven, I'm going to get 16.28 inches. If I divide 30, by 7, I'm going to get 4.28 inches. And those are the numbers that I'm going to be able to use to set up the framing square with. And that would look something like this. 4 and a quarter and 16 and a quarter, or just a little bit over each one. And you can see that up here at the top. It kind of looks like we're off just a little bit at the top. And this one right here isn't going to be as easy to use as the other one. That had a 19 and 5 ratio. So I would suggest trying to divide a few different numbers into the half span or the height from the top of the wall to the top of the ridge until you find a number you're comfortable with. And don't be afraid to use fractions. I could always divide 4.5 or 4.75 into the overall height and half span of the building also. 
And hopefully this provides you and the people who asked the questions originally with a few more things you can put in your do-it-yourself or carpenter toolbox to make your job easier laying out roof rafters.